Now that we've created our base part, we're ready to start working with our mold tools. The first thing we're going to do is scale our part. We scale plastic injection molded parts to account for any shrinkage in the molding process as the plastic cools. So the first thing we're going to do is actually create a new configuration for our part and we will call it mold tools and hit OK. So we'll now create all of our mold tools related features within this configuration to keep our default configuration clean. So to scale our part we're going to go up to mold tools and select scale and we have a few options here for what we want to scale about. We have centroid, origin, and coordinate system. Centroid scales about the geometric center of the part. Origin scales about the origin of the part file. And coordinate system scales about a user-defined coordinate system origin. We'll select centroid because we want the part to be scaling about its center uniformly. If we uncheck this uniform scaling, we see that we can edit the scaling in the X, Y, and Z direction if we wanted them to be different. But for our scenario, we'll keep the uniform scaling box checked. And for our scaling factor, we'll enter 1.04. So the part will be scaled upward 4% in its size. And we'll hit OK. And we can visually see that the part has changed size. Now if we toggle between the mold tools configuration and the default, we can better see this variation in size. This has been a very quick tutorial on the SOLIDWORKS scaling tool as part of our multi-video series on mold tools in SOLIDWORKS. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to get notifications about future videos on the channel. Thank you and have a great day.